Okay guys, welcome to our little update video that we are gonna do right now from our pretty Airbnb. You in the middle so, of the night. You look so gorgeous. So we are currently in Guatemala. Surprise, uh, you don't know yet, but we are in Guatemala. Aside of the fact that it's a wonderful and beautiful country, we thought we might give you a live update because our videos we already posted are two months behind our real life. And oh no. Yeah, it actually takes a lot of time to produce the videos. So we wanted to tell you where we are at the moment and what our future plans are and what happened so far just in a very short version so you already updated before the next videos come out. So from the Dominican Republic we flew to Miami where we just rented a rental car and that's also a story to come. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun there with the guys not. Um, but anyway, we drove all the way up to Jacksonville because that's where our friends live. Stopped at Bucky's. Stopped at Bucky's, yeah, the best invention ever. Yes. If you don't know it, it's a beaver and it, it sells <laughs> it's you a everything. Beaver. It's a beaver gas station. It's a gas station yeah. just for beavers. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're gonna swim there and then yeah, beware of the table. Yeah, anyway, so Jacksonville up north spent a lot of time there, had really good time with our friends, meeting, let's say, friends and family. Um, had a wonderful Christmas with them. And enjoyed all the stuff that is very typical US, I think. Right. Yeah, then we went to a good German Christmas market in Chicago. That was a nightmare drive. I don't know, we slept in the car because we are budget travelers. We were, we were trying to avoid um, hotels, so we ended up sleeping in the, in the car in the parking lot. Not um, just one night. After Chicago, we Drove to Washington to Maddie's family. Mm -hmm, yeah. Went into the woods to shoot guns all day. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. That was that was a blast. Yeah. And then seen a bit of Washington. We, yeah, and then we finally made it to Mexico. Pretty fast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, in Mexico we went to Cancun, Tulum, Valladolid, and Merida. And Mexico is a great, great country. So there was so much to do, even though we were 10 times shocked by the prices. And in the end, we get parasites. <laughs> I don't know how to put it, yeah. because it's really a disgusting topic. And yeah, so we had worse. <laughs> but they have cheap parasite medicine. That's, <laughs> that's the bright side in Mexico. We are not yet sure if it worked. Yeah. But I'm pretty confident because, yeah, I mean, we, we've had really some gut problems, uh, cramps and, and everything. It was not some, so, not so nice. I was dying. Sometimes I wanted to die because it was hurting so much. Yeah. yeah. But we are over it now. Fingers crossed that our sickness period now is lifted. The veil of sickness just got removed from us. We were sick during the cruise a with bit. a bit of cold. Then we were sick in the US. Also some kind of cold or whatever we caught. And then we had parasites in Mexico. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> Two Germans sick on the road. Yeah, other than that, Mexico is a really great place for food and the people there are so nice. Like mm -hmm. really, I, I haven't been to any other place where the people are so nice and friendly and Just everybody's... Yeah, but it's yeah, a Mexico little bit were, different. Yeah, Mexico were even nicer. Yeah, they are way over the top when it comes to that, yeah. And in total, we've spent a little bit over 20 days in Mexico, really had a blast. Um, had our first brand sponsorships, yeah, with food tour, food, food company, tour company and a scooter rental company. That was a big milestone for us. So yeah, 20 days, almost three weeks in Mexico. I mean, when you take the parasite kind of sickness thing away, it was really great. Yeah, and yes. I would, I would really do it again and uh, I would like to, to see more of Mexico yes yeah absolutely in Mexico then we thought okay where where to go next right because we didn't really have a clue where to go and we never have a clue yeah we're always late but never have a clue and get sick of <laughs> we're the perfect <laughs> traveler <laughs> But the thing is, right now with, with all the COVID stuff, you can't really plan ahead that much. So you have to, I don't know, make it really spontaneously uh, decide on, on where to go because everything can change. Yeah, and then, so we said, ah, let's just do it like that. Yeah, right? for example, we wanted to go to Guatemala. We finally decided to go to Guatemala. And I think three days before we wanted to go, they made a new rule that we need to have a test. So we <laughs> flew back from Cancun to Miami, taking advantage of the lounge. And then flying all the way down to Guatemala City. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because it's way cheaper. Direct flight is 500 bucks and that flight was 190. So we've went to Guatemala. We've actually never really heard anything really that much about that country. No. Yeah, so we got to Guatemala and we've had an Airbnb in a very new skyscraper with a view over Guatemala City and the standard there, everything, I don't know, it was it was perfect. Wonderful. You, you might want to imagine. We are going there again next week, yeah. just to take three days of chilling. Okay, and after uh, Guatemala City, we we went to Antigua, Guatemala. Mm -hmm. You got all of the hipster restaurants, everything you can imagine you want here. So it's maybe like compared to Europe, 10 to 20 percent um, cheaper. So if you're in Guatemala, come here and uh, yeah, enjoy just enjoy, just enjoy the forever. city. So our next plans are tomorrow we're gonna go to Lake Atitlan. Mm -hmm which is a really really nice lake which is two hours of a drive uh, from here we haven't decided yet on where, uh, how to get there either a chicken bus which is a local bus they are buying all of the old abandoned usa owned school buses bring them here to guatemala and then paint Make them, them fancy really, like really super nice. fancy yeah. So like Atitlan it is and from there on we're going back and then we're actually doing a hike of a volcano which is almost 4,000 meters high today <laughs> actually this little hill here the Vista point um, I mean right now we are on an elevation of around about 1500 meters mm -hmm. and we felt so exhausted I don't know I mean, if we it's are still, still the, the recovering. parasite thing that yeah. the fact that we are still recovering but uh, yeah we were so short on breath uh, it was unbelievable but we're wor working on that we still have sort of a week uh, you can to do get a bit there. of yoga on lake atitlan <laughs> yeah yeah or run or swim or run doing doing anything to mm -hmm. uh, to survive that hike yeah yeah after guatemala we go to costa rica yeah do some surfing enjoy the beach warmer weather because actually on this elevation here it's quite quite cold yeah i didn't i didn't expect it i don't know what i expected from guatemala but Nothing. <laughs> so i don't know yeah, and then in general, let's see what, what the future holds for us in, in Costa Rica. Uh, I guess it's also going to be great. And from there, we will probably move downwards to the south, central South America. Maybe do, um, I don't know, Panama. Maybe from there do a sailboat, but only maybe, to Colombia. Yeah, we might do that and from Colombia go to Bolivia, Peru, Peru, maybe Chile, if, oh let's yeah, see. Chile would be nice. So if you have any recommendations of all the Central American and South American countries, where we need to go, what we should do, please just on a budget tip, so nothing like, oh, you can do this cruise for 10,000 uh, bucks, no. Yeah. Um, if you want to sponsor us, go ahead, write us an email. <laughs> We're gonna link it down below, but if not, we need budget tips. But what can we do um, to maybe cross the Amazon River on a budget? Because I haven't found anything super budgety like yet. All the stuff we need to do without spending the price of a New York City apartment in the center. <laughs> right. So yeah, just leave the comments down below. We're really uh, happy for everyone of you, all the likes that you give us, the comments, we really appreciate that. I'm so happy about every comment. Thank you so much, really, really, this comes from the heart. Let us know your thoughts if you like this live update videos and yeah, if you have tips for all the middle and south American countries, leave them down below. Please subscribe. <laughs> if you haven't already. And uh, leave nice comments. I'm always so happy of every comment. She I'm like, really is. Yeah, I really am. I'm like, oh, we have a new comment. Someone watched our video. So guys, that's it from our little live update here in Guatemala. <sighs> okay, back on track. Where was I? Mm. So guys, if you want to get live updates from this sweet honeymoon couple here. <laughs> huh? On the longest honeymoon ever. Right. Make sure to also subscribe to our Instagram. 
It's linked down below in the description box. There you get all the live updates from the stuff that we're up to. We're really looking forward to everything that 2022 holds uh, in store for us. We really appreciate any support that you are giving us. If you want to support the channel a little bit more, we're gonna link the buy us a coffee here so you can actually buy us a coffee that we get our daily caffeine intake. Yeah, if you want to support us with that, uh, feel free to do it. It will be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. It's really appreciated. Thank you so much. Yes. No matter where you are, even nope. if you have parasites. <laughs> Hope you guys are safe, having a good time. Stop the safe thing. Hope you guys are no, unsa no unsafe. <laughs> so don't, don't be safe in 2022. Just risk uh, something, yeah. Because we've had this, the safe thing we've had now for two years. It didn't work out, yeah. Everybody's unhappy, so get that theme out of the way. We're gonna explore again. We're gonna do everything, yeah. The world belongs to the brave. Exactly. <laughs>